this is this month's four key issue comics that I'm going to be sending in to get graded. If you want to know what they are and what I predict they might come back as, stick around and let's find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, where we discuss comic books and the love of them. So thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my videos. Hopefully, this will not be your last. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have a deal that I uh, made with PGX. Um, tried to do it with CGC and CBCS, but to this day, they still never return my emails. But I made a deal with them that if I give them a 5 to 10 second ad on uh, the majority of my videos, if I could get a couple of comics graded every month at a discount, and they said sure. So they allow me each month to send in four comics where they could be gold and silver age, modern, doesn't matter. Um, I get also included pressing and dry cleaning, signature verifications, and that gives me the chance to help promote their business and help me get some discounts and the love of getting comics graded. And when I get them back, I do live videos that um, show the grades together because I don't know the grades until I unbox them with you. Makes it fun. Love to do it. So here is the books that I send in the month before, and I make my predictions, and then we open them live about a month, month and a half later when I get them back. So um, let's get the first book. And also, before I show these, make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want one, all you have to do is be a subscriber, so hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button, so this way you can know whenever a video of mine uploads and... Make sure in the comment section you give a little shout-out to the person that gets the shout-out. They like that. All right, so here's number one book I'm sending in. I always go from worst to first, so this is the worst one, believe it or not. Uh, this is Spider-Gwen number one. This is the 1 in 100 Adam Hughes variant. Um, Spider-Gwen, like I predicted back in 2015, is really hot now. It's only going to get hotter. So this is a book I missed on when it first came out because... The first day I saw it, it was like $100 the day it came out. And I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. $100 for this book? It was like 400 overnight. So this book really skyrocketed. It dropped for a while. And now thanks to the Sony uh, movie with the intro to the Spider-Verse, which is a great movie if you haven't seen it. I highly recommend it. Um, Spider-Gwen is now going to get her own solo movie. And her appearance in there was really amazing. They did a good job with it, and it really made her books even more desirable. So The Edge of Spider-Verse 2, I was telling people back in 2015 to get when you could get it for under $30. Now good luck getting it for under 100 But this is the 1 in 100 variant of the first series. Um, this one is incredible. It has all of these signatures and two sketches. It is signed by Adam Hughes which is one of the sketches. Oh, my cat is very excited. So there's Adam Hughes, and there's the sketch. Rico Renzi, signature and sketch. Also signed by Dan Slott, Robbie Rodriguez, Jason Latour, and the one and only, may he rest in peace, Stan Lee. Now, this book definitely is going to need a pressing. Um, there are a couple of creases in the back. They don't break color, but the corner is bent a little bit on the back, so a pressing could help it. So I don't know if this will get a 9.8. It really depends on how good the, it is of the pressing. So we'll see if they can get it out, but it definitely will improve it. So I'm going to go... Um, well, first, let me mention the payment. I paid $510 for this book, which raw is actually a pretty good deal. In other words, no signatures or anything like that. So if the price I paid for it with all of those signatures is definitely a steal. Now, one of the things I always recommend, please make sure you do your research about signatures. I have been doing not actual signature verification, but every time I see a CGC witnessed or a PGX witnessed or a CBCS witnessed book, I, I memorize the signatures. So this way I can pretty much tell that these are authentic. Now, obviously that's not 100% guaranteed, but the good thing is PGX, like CBCS, does signature verification. So normally, they charge, all these different companies charge $15 for the first signature and then $10 each additional. So that would be ridiculous how much it would cost to get this graded. Sending it into PGX is only going to cost me the shipping charges. So 
to me, it's a no-brainer. But I paid $510 for it. I'm sorry, $359.50. That's the other book. My apologies. So for the Spider-Gwen number one, I paid $359.50, which is even better. I'm going to predict, as of now, a 9.2 to a 9.6. We'll see what happens with the book when it gets pressed. Again, not anything major, just a little bit in the corner on the back. So we'll see how good the pressing helps. And, of course, white pages on that book. That's pretty much almost a guarantee with any modern book these days. And, of course, Oregon loves to be the center of attention. All right, so next up, this is the one that I spent $510 on. This is a mega high-grade book. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 7, which is the second appearance of the Vulture. Now, obviously, he's not going to be the main villain in the newest Spider-Man movie, but he's going to be a part of it. And if they do the Sinister Six, you know he's definitely going to be a part of it. So he's not a one-and-done character. Um, really like what Michael Ver um, Keaton's version of the Vulture was. They really made what looks like a ridiculous character actually believable and intimidating. So great job with that. This book is beautiful. I looked inside. It looks like this book was never opened. There is no creasing at all. The staples are pure silver. Um, there is no folds, no bends. The only problem that I see in this book is it needs a pressing because there's a couple of light little creases. It's probably going to hard, be hard to see, but they do not break color. So there's a little bit here. There's a date stamp, big deal. There's a, color, a minor color break increase right there. It's going to be hard to see because it's like an eighth of an inch, if that. The only major one is right here. That's the only major defect of this book. It lies completely flat. A pressing will help it a little bit. Um, it's got a little color break right here. Again, very hard to see. It's right at the tip there, about maybe a fourth of an inch down. So that will lower the grade a little bit. But this is a beautiful book. And again, um... I paid $510 for it. I'm going to predict about a 7.5 to an 8.5. Um, I have a feeling with the pressing, it's going to be a little bit higher than that. But even at a 7.5, I would be completely happy with this book. Um, that would bring it up to about a $1,000 price range, which means I would double my money if I ever sell it. And one day I might, but not anytime soon. I grade these to get them protected. And I just like to know what the general idea of the grade is. So beautiful condition book. Um, this one has off-white to white pages. And uh, I cannot wait to see what grade that comes out as. All right, number two. Uh, we got some Golden Age goodness. Definitely another beautiful cover. Submariner issue number six with an Alex Schrumberg cover. Absolutely love this. Now, it's very dirty on the cover. I don't know how much a dry cleaning can help that, whether that's kind of like seeped into the pages, but we'll find out. Uh, the cover is detached, so the absolute highest grade this can get is a 3.0. But as you can see, for a book that came out around, I believe, 1941 or 1942, um, this is a great looking cover. The colors are absolutely beautiful. The um, I love the font that they did here. And um, they've mentioned that they have plans for the Submariner in the uh, MCU. So it's just a matter of time before they use them. So these books are only going to get hotter. I got this for a steal, in my opinion. I paid $495.95 for this book. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be about a 2.0 to a 3.0. I don't think it'll hit the 3.0 range just because of all the dirt, but it definitely is going to be at least a 2.0 because if the dry cleaning can get out that dirt, the rest of the book inside is beautiful. So pressing and dry cleaning will help it. Um, this one, I said it's about creamed off-white pages. So again, for a book from the 40s, somebody really took care of this book. Absolutely love it. Cannot wait to get this one graded and see where it is and also to protect it. All right, so last but not least, if you saw my video I made the other night around uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern time, you will know more about this book than probably any book I've shown because I gave full details of it. But, like as promised, I am sending in my Daredevil number one, which is the first appearance of Daredevil in his banana suit, also Foggy Nelson and Karen Page. 
Um, this was originally graded a CGC 0.5. Um, there is no way, in my humble opinion, that this is a 0.5. Um, if you haven't seen the video I did the other night where I cracked it open, I highly recommend that you check it out because I show the inside of the book and you can see the inside of the book is beautiful. The only major problem is it's got a detached cover, but that means it could go as high as a 3.0. And it's got about from here down to about here of the back cover missing. So other than that, I think this book, I paid $410 for it. So even if it came back a 0.5, I definitely paid under what it's valued as. But I'm predicting about a 1.5 to a 2.0. Many people, especially after seeing that video the other night, agree with that grade. And this is off-white pages. So um, definitely looking forward to seeing what PGX grade this as. I think if it gets a one, even a 1.5, I'll be very happy with, which is still better than a 0.5. And definitely more realistic to what this grade is. So those are the four books. We got Daredevil number one. We got Submariner Golden Age issue number six. We got Amazing Spider-Man issue number seven. And the Spider-Gwen mega signed one in 100 Adam Hughes variant. So those are the four books that will be sent in. I get them back roughly about a month and a half. Um, the other last months haven't come back yet. I cannot wait to get those, see what those come back as, so hopefully you'll stick around for those. If you're so kind to give this a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Wait until the end for the surprise subscriber shout-out. Hit the comments section with your little comments of what you think about these books, and um, hit subscribe if you haven't. Just don't hit the person next to you, because we know that's not a nice thing to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.